Yo, yo, what's good, YouTube? Back with the second part of the report from JP Finley. Um, I just want to give you much more full in the video when I actually got to sit down and think about it. Um, give you a quick summary of the decade of Bruce Allen being here, and then um, some key pivot movements of uh, Bruce Allen's tenure here, and then I want to give my full opinion on the report that he will be getting let go on Monday morning, Black Monday, if you like to call it, Peace Lip Monday, whatever you want to call it. So let's get into the uh, to the decade of him being Washington Redskins team president. Um, he got hired in 2009, as you know. Um, the 2010 season, uh, they, we had Donald McNabb on our roster, Jabari Gaffney, a whole bunch of bums and whatever. It, it was trash, okay? The team was bad. It was 5-11. and 11. You had, uh, Anthony Armstrong had, like, a strong rookie campaign. Uh, I think he had, like, 800-some yards receiving. Might have, went, might have went over uh, 900. I don't know. He had a really good solid rookie campaign, though. It was, like, the end of Chris Cooley's 10 years of Redskin. I think Clint Portis was gone by then. Tanner was still there, but Tanner wasn't Tanner. I mean, Tanner was still good. I mean, I'm not saying Santana Moss wasn't good then, but he wasn't Santana. Santana. He, was, he wasn't that Santana no more. He wasn't Tanner. He wasn't going crazy, but he was still a good receiver, though. He wasn't great, though. I changed my attention. He had some great years as a rescue, though. Don't get it twisted. Um, it was a bad football team. It was bad. I think it was Mike Shanahan's second year as the head coach. We just got Trent Williams a year before. No, this is Trent Williams' rookie season, by the way. This is Trent Williams', Trent Williams rookie season, the fourth pick of the 2010 NFL draft. Um, that I think was the same draft we snuffed up Malcolm Kelly and uh, what was it, Devin Thomas or something. We had brief, we had brief second round picks, and all of them were ass. Excuse my friends, they were all bad. They were trash. Um, it was just bad. It was whatever. 2011, about the same. Um, you said Kerrigan, my Brian, Brian Rackbo. You had some good pieces on the team, but it's one a good football team. Um, being the 2012 NFL Draft, which is another pivotal moment of Bruce Allen's tenure, the Washington Redskins trade up to select Robert Griffin III out of Baylor, um, aka known as RG3, a uh, Heisman Trophy winner. Uh, drafted him with the second pick in the draft at the moment from eight. Um, he traded. Two future first round picks. They swap first round picks in that draft. They give a second and third round pick. All to trade up for Rob Griffin III. Now, when we first execute the trade, I said Bruce Allen lost his mind. I said Dan Snyder, Bruce Allen, and Mike Shanahan lost, uh, lost their mind. Um, I was like, no way Mike Shanahan signed this off. Like, it's no way. I um, couldn't find it. He didn't sign this off. This is all Dan Snyder and Bruce Allen's doing. Um, stupid. Whatever. Um, whatever. Uh, so, Draft Robert Griffin III, he looked incredible as rookie, as you know. 27 touchdowns running and throwing. 7 running, 20 passing. Um, he only threw 5 interceptions. Only had 7 turnovers on the season. That's incredible for a rookie. Especially back then, um, because Andrew Luck turned the ball over a lot his rookie season, unlike RG3. Um, Redskins led to a 10 and 6 record. After starting 3 and 6, you saw some promising moments from Robert in the first nine games. Them seven games, boy. He had two straight four touchdown games. He threw eight touchdowns in four days. Eight of them days in four days. Um, Redskins look good. Uh, Santana, like he, Santana Moss, like he was revitalized. Uh, Pierre Garcon was a really nice addition. Um, you had Josh Morgan there. You had Alpha Morris running for 1,600 yards. Six-round draft pick, by the way. You had Keaton Robinson being very impactful. I think he was the fifth-round pick in the 2012 draft. You had Kirk Cousins coming in for a game and play well to help the Redskins win games. Um, stay afloat in the, in, in the NFC East as they won the NFC East as they clinched the division, defeating the Dallas Cowboys in Week 17 to get a playoff berth. Now, this is where everything truly goes left in Washington. After this, everything hits the fan at this point. Uh, Seattle playoff game, wild card weekend, racing to get 14 nothing. 
Um, Seattle stays in the game from one point. They get the lead late, and then Robert gives the first takes a snap. Tears ACL and LCL. Curtains. That is the end of the RG3 era in DC as we know it. Robert Griffin III was never the same ever again. Um, pivotal moment was the 2012 season in general. 2013 season, Red Sands go first year in three. Um, Mike Shanahan is ousted as head coach. Bring in Jay Gruden. Jay Gruden says he's going to fix Robert Griffin III. Another Bruce Allen hire. Um, uh, Jay, Jay didn't come out the, out the gate good. I mean, 4-12 and 12 in 2014. You had, uh, you had a good offensive nucleus, but uh, defensively, the team was trash. So they weren't stopping anyone. But it was scoring points, but it wasn't stopping. They weren't stopping a nosebleed. It was bad. Um, So in, it, in their Week 17 against the Cowboys, was horrible. And they proceeded to get whooped. Handsomely whooped. Um, I mean, I had some bright moments in that 2014 season. We did beat the Cowboys on a Monday night. Um, 2017 overtime, Jordan Reed caught a nice little pass from Colt McCoy. Uh, Colt McCoy didn't throw a touchdown pass, but he only threw one pick. And then we kept, we had the musical chairs as a quarterback. One week was Kirk, next week was Robert, next week was Colt. It was, it, it's, it's just going left, okay? It was just bad. It was bad. 2014 seasons passed. Um, Robert Griffin III plays in the preseason against the Lions. He has a concussion. And then things change. We fought. We found our franchise quarterback in Kirk Cousins. Um, Kirk Cousins, within the next three years, between 2015, 2016, 2017, throws over 12,000 yards, 85 touchdowns, and less than 40 interceptions in those three seasons. Um, leads the Redskins to a 9-7 record his first season as a starter, 8-7-1 as a second year, and then 7-9. Not great records by any stretch of imagination, but Kirk was not the reason why we were losing games. And then the fiasco started. Okay, 2015, he plays well. Uh, 4,000 yards. Uh, I think he broke a Redskins record for yards in a season, I think. I'm pretty sure he did. Yes, he did. Um, Did it twice. <laughs> Actually, broke his own record, which is crazy. Um... Did that, got the race into 9-7. That's the gear where you have in the 2015 NFL draft class. We do not have a first-round pick, I don't think. Don't quote me. Don't think we had a first-round pick. Don't think we did. I had to double-check that. I don't think we had a first-round pick. No, we did. I'm stupid. Sorry. Sorry. I, I, I had a brain fart. I'm so sorry. Brandon Sheriff was selected with the fifth pick in the 2015 NFL Draft. I'm so sorry. It, at the time, right tackle, he got moved to right guard. Um, so, yeah, Brandon Sheriff in the first round. Um, another impactful pick was the uh, second round pick in Preston Smith, which is now no longer with the team, which is another gripe I have with Bruce Allen. Um, and a fourth round pick, Jameson Crowder, another, another fan favorite Redskin. Um, really like Jameson Crowder here. Uh, really, really impactful wide receiver here, especially when healthy. Um, and he didn't keep Jameson Crowder either. So, um, as we're going to get to the fall of Bruce Allen, but back to the 2015 season. Um, so, you had those guys in the offseason that you added through the draft. And um, Redskins had some really good moments that season. Um, they were down 24 nothing against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think in week seven, the race was two and four at the time. It was a must-win game. If you don't win this game, you have no chance at the postseason. And then everything goes left in D.C. And you may be talking about Jay Gruden getting fired after one season. Um, so, after two seasons of coaching, I'm sorry. So, you remember that game? Racing down 24 nothing. And they go on a roll. The last time they were actually, like, Really down out in that game was uh the twenty four nothing sack when they got sacked. Um, Kirk Cousins got sacked on a third and long. Um, after that, the Redskins marched down the field. Kirk Cousins goes on a radio uh zone read keep to the end zone. Um, make it for uh twenty four seven, and then he hits Ryan Grant. Um, in the back of the end zone. Uh, this is a homecoming game, by the way. So most time Redskins won homecoming game with Jay Gruden's head coach. Um, as one game will always depend on them winning was the homecoming game. Uh, but back to the point at hand. Um, since Ryan Grant to make it 24 to 14, 
Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Tampa has a field goal, so he makes it 27-14. Um, he hits Jordan Reed on a slant to make it a six-point game, I believe. A six-point game at 27-21. to yeah, Another field goal to make it 30-21. Um, I don't know how I got the other touchdown. I don't remember. Um, can't quote me on the 20. Uh, I think we had a field goal from Dustin Hopkins to cut the six. Yes. Um, D-Hop gets the field goal, cut the 24 at 200. A six-point game at uh, 30 to 24. Um, after we cut it to six, um, Kirk Cousins watched out the field. Um, for his second game winning drive of the season, I believe he had one against the Eagles earlier. Um, when he ran down and broke Alpha Morris, and he had some Pierre Garcon for four yards for a game winning touchdown pass. Um, later on this season, against, in this game against Tampa, um, he had uh, John Jordan on another slant route. Um, to seal the game, Vesta, you don't like that, you don't like that game, yeah, that game, yeah, that game. Um, Redskins go on to finish nine and seven. Make the postseason and then eventually lose to the Green Bay Packers in a wild card game. Will Randall Cobb mocks the you like that? You like that chant? Yeah, that that happened. Um, so we must 2016. Um Redskins start off very high at six three and one and just implodes. Gosh. Losing to Arizona. I think we lost to Carolina. We lost a lot of teams. We're not supposed to lose to lost to Carolina. Um beat the Eagles late in the season. To uh, give us a chance to make the postseason, it will be the Bears, I believe. It'll be the Bears um, to make it a chance to get in the postseason, but we just didn't get in. Uh, we lose to the Giants week 17 to not get in. The play call was bad. Kirk was bad. He threw two bad. He threw one really bad interception. And then, he, and then one was bobbled by Maurice Harris. It was just bad. It was just bad. That game was bad. And then the Giants didn't even want to win that damn game. It was already 10 and 5. They already clinched the NFC's title. They didn't want to win the damn game. They basically wanted to get the rest in the game. And the rest didn't want to freaking take it. So that's what it was on the 2016 season. That's how it ended. Uh, set 2017, this mediocre the entire season. Um, Kirk Cousins played well at times. He looked pretty good at times. He had a couple of really bad games, especially his last game as a Redskin. If you can remember this one, he did throw three picks against the Giants and did not throw a touchdown pass, I believe. It was bad. Um, that, that game was bad. Um, we blew a 15-point lead in New Orleans against the Saints. Also, in that season, that game really, really, really struck a core in me. Really pissed me off. Um, that really pissed me off. Uh, and, of course, in the 2017 season, we do not keep Kirk Cousins in the offseason. We trade for Alex Smith and give him an extension. This pisses me off. For all of that, you should have paid Kirk Cousins. I, I don't get it. You, you, you pay Alex Smith for 23, 24 million a season, something like that, maybe 22.5, and you just pay Kirk 28. I don't get the damn point. He was in your system. He knew, he knew what the hell to do. He was playing well. He's throwing touchdown passes. He, you gave him this mediocre receiving core. And barely no freaking running game, and this boy is still playing well, and you don't keep him. I don't get it. Um, so that's that. Um, that really pissed me off. So to no end, really pissed me off. So 2018 season comes, uh, Kirk out, Alex in. Um, you trade Kendall Fuller in that same deal, which pissed me off. Hopefully, we get back this off. That should be nice. But um, that pissed me off. Um, you know, Kelvin Ford was a 2017 third round pick. Played really well for the Redskins too. Um, in that in that 2017 season, our first round pick was Jonathan Allen, um, defensive tackle out of Alabama, class defensive end. On um, 2018 season comes, I said uh, in the first round we drafted Ron Payne out of Alabama, defensive tackle. Um, Redskins did finish toward the bottom half. I mean, at at the bottom, at stopping the run in 2017. Um, but there was much more impactful players in the draft, like uh, Derwin James, safety out of Florida State, and then uh, Tremaine Edmonds, linebacker out of Virginia Tech. Didn't take one of those guys at 13. You took Deron Payne instead. Pissed me off. Um, uh, and I know that's a Bruce Allen pick. 
Don't 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 say oh Cal Smith did this and blah 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 blah. You could tell it was a Bruce Allen pick, okay? You, you could tell. And that was all Bruce Allen's bullshit. Hey, we know what it was. Um, excuse my French there. Um, but yeah, we marched on to 2019 season, and this was a train wreck. <laughs> like I, I, I don't know what to say. Start on five. You fired Jay Gruden. Um, the team looks respectable after that for the most part. We had a, 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 a almost a 16 quarter drought of not scoring a touchdown. That's trash. Um, <laughs> that's just trash. Um, but one, two good things came out this season. Only two. Three, if you count, um, Darius guys. The maturation of Dwayne Haskins, our first round pick we drafted in this year's draft. Um, and Terry McLaurin is definitely a number one wide receiver. And Dino, both of those are Cal Smith picks. I right. maybe Dan has something to do with the Dwayne Haskins pick. But definitely, um, Terry McLaurin definitely was a Cal Smith pick. Um, boys number one wide receiver, simply put. And definitely part of one of the most dynamic young receivers in the game. Maybe the most dynamic receiver in the game, to be honest with you. Um, so that's that. The Redskins are right now are three and twelve. We face the Dallas Cowboys tomorrow. Um, at uh, probably won't win that game. So we're probably gonna finish three and thirteen. Finish three and thirteen in twenty thirteen, and we finish four and twelve in twenty fourteen. So yeah. So that is the tenure in Bruce Allen in a nutshell. Let's get to um. The report of him getting fired, in my opinion, on it. It has to happen. You you seen these first 16 minutes and saw my sex and me, seconds of me. Um giving you a summary of the tenure of Bruce Allen, the decade of here, of him being here, the 2010 decade that he actually ruined of Redskins football. You know how deprived I am of good football watching this piece of trash organization because of trash Bruce Allen. You know how much he pisses me off? He is trash. He should have been gone. He should have gone the 2013 season. You go 3 and 13 season, you go 3 and 13 one year, my organization, you're long gone. You got to go much faster than slow. I don't take mediocrity, bro. And the fact that he was here, bro, for this long is trash, bro. Um, now, do I think it's going to happen? Yes. I think Bruce Allen's out the door. And I just thank goodness it's over. I just, it could get worse. Like, my man Louis T had a video earlier, bro. He was like, it can get worse. But I don't think it get much worse from Bruce Allen. I, 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 I don't think it hit more rock bottom with executives than Bruce Allen. Uh, so, with that being said, my opinion, he needs to go. I gave you my decade summary of him being here. He has blundered so many situations, the RG3 situation, the RG3 trade, the Kirk Cousins situation. We're not trading him. Back in 2016, we had a chance while he's on a franchise tag. Um, uh, the whole Alex Smith trade, an extension, don't not like that move as well. Um, not keeping Pierre Garçon and Deshaun Jackson um, after the 2016 season. Trade for Dom Minette back in 2010. Trade for Jason Taylor. Um, signed Jason Hatcher in 2014. I'm not keeping Jameson Crowder or Preston Smith this offseason. You don't know they will get some big money, but you could get one of them. Um, what else, man? So there's a bunch of things he's done here. I'm not keeping Alpha Morris after the 2015 season. Uh, Matt Jones being a lead back, trash. Um, it's just a, just a bad outweigh the good. So the Trent Williams situation now, you don't want to play for the Redskins anymore. The Brand Sheriff contract situation is not re-signed Brand Sheriff yet. It's just so many things. I'm just tired of him being here. He's he's terrible. He's garbage. Get him out of here. He's trash. Um will be my game plan. I promote from within. Um I like Eric Schaefer. Um, as well as Kyle Smith. I think Kyle Smith will have a GM and an executive president of football operations. Um, but maybe Eric Schaefer, where he works the cap and stuff like that, and very cap friendly type of guy. I think he could be a guy who would do those things. Um, or even just promote Doug Williams. Just, just do something with, within the organization to show that, that the organization still has stability. So, 
Um, that's my opinion on the whole Bruce Allen situation. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was almost 20 minutes long. I'm so sorry about that. But um, thank you guys for watching. Um, view, rate, comment, subscribe if you're new. Also, turn on post notifications. Always catch a post like sports video. Um, hope you guys had a really great Saturday. I hope you guys could go first out the way. And also, 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 also. January 2nd, the second second day of the new year, um, uh, my boy and I, my boy and Oliver and I, and probably one more person will probably join a live stream on Steamyard. I'm working on it, um, getting all the logistics set up for it. Um, it'll probably be about an hour long, hour, about 90 minutes long. Um, the first hour will be me and Ed Oliver, um, and the other person that will probably be on the stream, which is hopefully my boy Louis T. Um, we can definitely uh, chop it up about um, our plan. What well, our plans would be individually if we were to GM put our GM hat on, and also um, just think it just and just it just really talk about where the rest is going to go as an organization. So like I said, put God first out the way. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you rate, comment, subscribe if you're new. Turn on post notifications once again. And I'm out, bruh. Peace. And you guys have a wonderful Saturday evening. Enjoy the Sunday football. Enjoy Redskins Cowboys. Even though none of the significant players won't play. Enjoy Eagles Giants. Enjoy all division games. Um, uh, If you guys are picking games for fun or whatever, hope you guys have a good week 17 picking games, bro. And I'm out, bruh. Take it easy. Peace.